This is the sole reason for how I came from depression to feeling happy, enthusiastic and passionate, from poverty, from having zero money, from struggling with finances all the time, to not struggling with finances at all, you know, to driving the car I wanted, to living in the place and the house I wanted to live in. All of these things came from this. Hello, my name is Klaus Levine, and in this video, I'm going to give you the secret to making radical progress, to creating huge results in very little time. And I know this might be the promise of many personal development success programs, but listen up here, because now we're talking about the real thing. This is the real secret. Instead of sitting on your butt, trying to attract into your life what you want, you go out and create it. And this is the way to do it. And this is the way to do it fast. That's the whole subject here. How to do it rapidly instead of, you know, building small habits, doing all the right things over time so you, in the end, will achieve the success you want. How do we do it now, right? Because we have a problem, and this is a mini course, right? I'm posting several videos on this subject so you can really get down to it and understand what do I need to do every day, every week in order to make these principles happen for me so I can get what I want in a tenth of the time or ten times faster. But let's just talk about the real problem first here. Because we have this idea that if we have a grand vision, right, we have something out here that is amazing, right? You're here, this is time, and we want to go to that point. But if, if, if that thing is very close to us, right, if it's something we can achieve in six months, then it can't be that big, right? But if it's in, in 10 years, then we can dream up all kinds of cool stuff, right? Or 20 years for that matter. I want a hundred million. I want a gazillion. I want the body of my dreams, right? I want these relationships to happen. I want this to happen. And there's just, there's, you know, if we go further out into the future, everything's possible because everything can happen, right? But the thing is, let's say this is, this time here is like 10 years, then this can be huge, this goal because we have all this time. But what happens with that is our enthusiasm, our passion, I'm just gonna write P down here, our passion will be diminished. To the degree to which we add time to the equation, passion will go down, right? Because you'll just be, or excitement, call it whatever you want, right? What happens is, the more we push it into the future, the lower the passion gets. So, what's the solution to that, Klaus? Well, let's take something that we can achieve in, like, say, Christmas time, right? Let's say four weeks, the length of December, right? Or 24 days, whatever. So, but what happens is, when we do that, when we push the goal uh, closer to us, it can't be that big, because seriously, realistically, what can you achieve in four weeks? It's not that exciting, is it, right? So the same thing happens. This is the paradox. So the more we push the goal closer to us, the smaller it gets. And what happens to our level of passion? It goes down, right? So we have the same result. How do we solve this? I hope you're really with me here because this is really important to understanding that goals is not necessarily the answer, right? Make them realistic. Yeah, but when they're realistic, I don't, I'm not really passionate about them. Make them unrealistic, right? No, I'm not, it's too far away, you know. So we're screwed, basically. There's only one way of dealing with this. If you want to have a, a maximum level of pleasure, excitement, and drive to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve, you must take something that is extremely attractive and put it out into a four-week span. How do you do that? Well, you say to yourself, okay, if I were able to achieve X in four weeks, what would, what would make me get up at five every morning and push like crazy, go for that run, do those affirmations or that meditation or whatever you have on your list of cool stuff to do in the morning? What would make me study as Hell, right? What would make me do all these things? What would make me just so focused every day? If I knew I could do it, but I could only do it if I was at 300% of focus, of energy, of commitment. If I just amped up and said, what am I really capable of? What could I do, right? If I went to work and I just went to work. If I did those cold calls with 300, 500% of energy and focus and just passion and energy and bravery. 
What would happen? Right? So you start asking, what if? And wh- how high can I really go? Instead of going for a diet, you say, okay, how far could I really go? What could I really achieve in four weeks? And that's the key. You start asking questions out of this normal, boring reality and saying, if I were at my highest and that high, I was to double that highest, what could I achieve in four weeks? And then you start building that. This is the key. So instead of just saying, okay, this is normalcy, right? This, this is time and, and normal behavior or, you know, normal, successful, whatever behavior, getting up early. But I'm talking about a, really a different kind of behavior, right? This is normal behavior. And this is just an assumption. We say, okay, I got this goal. How long is it going to take me to do that? And, this, da, 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 da. and that's the mistake. We need to say, okay, I got this goal. What would I be able to achieve if I amped up to the max and beyond? Because then what happens is that you decrease the amount of time that it would take you to achieve the same goal. That's where we need to put our focus, not what can we achieve over time. During World War II, the um, nationalist, nationalistic socialist party also known as the Nazis, came up with a really effective strategy for war. They called it Lightning War or Blitzkrieg. What they did was they engaged every single form of attack they could. They had the ground troops, the infantry, you know, then they had their, you know, panzer, the tanks, all the the vehicles. They had their, uh, you know, the rockets, the, the plane, the air force, whatever. And they just took all those and then they had every single entity within the army support another entity. And then they just overwhelmed the enemy. They did. They shortened this time, right? And they did that to Poland. They did that to France. And they took those countries in record time, in days instead of years or months. This is a very, very dark analogy. But this is what happens when you take that many resources, deploy it at one single target, and then you just disintegrate it. This is the way to achieve extraordinary results in very, very little time. And we need, if we want to be passionate, enthusiastic about what we do and our goals, we need to be able to do that. This is the sole reason for how I came from depression to feeling happy, enthusiastic, and passionate, from poverty, from having zero money, from struggling with finances all the time, to not struggling with finances at all, you know, to driving the car I wanted, to living in the place and the house I wanted to live in. All of these things came from this, because you can do this even though you're depressed, right? You can do this at at any point in time if you learn how. So, uh, Looking forward to seeing you in the next video where we're going to go deeper into the actual strategy of how to make this happen and achieve 10 times the result in a tenth of the time. See you tomorrow.